This video shows what needs to be done in order to enter the payroll into QuickBooks. I meant to say enter payroll expenses into QuickBooks. First, I'm going to show you where the information comes from that's going to be entered into QuickBooks. Okay, open the Mozilla Firefox browser, not the Chrome. The Mozilla one is down here. It's not the top one. And I know you can't see it. Okay, you're going to clip, click up here on Paychecks Online. By the way, you see this um, this picture right here on the upper right-hand corner? That lets you know that you're in Firefox. Okay, that's the correct browser. Don't use Chrome. Okay, then you enter the, the login information. Remember, this login information is in eWallet. Okay. See, since the payroll was processed on the 5th of May, they issued a, a message to me. It's saying that the reports for this check date, which is the one coming up, which is the one was that was processed, are available, and an invoice is also available. Okay. Now I downloaded um I downloaded the payroll reports by clicking here and then clicking download. And notice those were the ones that John ran on the fifth for the pay date on the ninth. Okay, I'm not gonna do this because I already did it. Okay, you will you also know that the payroll was done because the one that's ready to be done is the one is the one that follows the one for this week. See, it says May 23rd. The check date for the payroll that was just done is May 9th. Now, okay, so this is how you get the reports. But to get the invoice, remember said an invoice was available? I also download that because I save it on my hard drive. So you go to reports, and then you go to invoice right here and there's the invoice for the fifth okay so you would download that the same way that you download any other things on this website okay that's it for right here oh by the way these after they're downloaded you'll f they should end up on the desktop later on you'll move them into the a special folder which I, I'll show you later okay what you're gonna do now is you're gonna tabulate the taxes that way when you go to enter them into QuickBooks you won't have to be looking in so many different places and trying to use a calculator all at the same time there's a form which I have one that's already filled out it looks like this okay by the way this form you'll find it on my desk in a folder on top of my desk in the bins on the right hand side it'll be all the way in the back of the folder if this form you either don't find it in there or it's already all filled out you can get a new one okay i'll show you where to get it you open finder forms biz yeah this one Okay, you would just print this out and use it. I'm going to show you where the raw data comes for filling this out comes from. Okay, remember earlier I said that we had downloaded some things from the Paychecks website? Well, there's a folder here that has a, just a really long number. You open that one. And by the way, after I downloaded it, it was zipped. All I had to do was double click it and it extracted it and made this folder. And then I threw away the zip file. 
if you're wondering why I have a folder here and you might have a zip file. Okay, cash requirements. That's the form that has the raw information. All right, the tax information is all going to be in, in this section over here. Okay, the total taxes are is this. And you're going to write that somewhere on the form. That's probably going to go like right here, over here, for the new date. Okay? Now I'm going to turn off this video camera and I'm going to go fill it out. Okay, I lied. I said I was going to go away and fill it out and then come back after I fill it out. But there's some things that you need to know when you're filling out that table. First, how to get this calculator here. On the keyboard on a Mac, there's a button, like it's F4, I believe. Let's see, F4. Yeah, F4. When you press F4, you'll see like a whole bunch of apps. You can even use an... Oh, yeah, okay. You see down here these two dots? That'll show you the rest of the apps. But this is how you get the calculator. Now, I'm going to hit escape to escape out of this. Okay, so you have the calculator. I already copied down this number into the table where I told you it would go. And then I put the date, which was 5-9. The first thing in the table asks for is employer SSM. Social, actually on your sheet, it may just say SS, but it's SSM. And that number is the, okay, see here where it says employer? employer liability you're going to add the social security and medicare so you're going to add these two numbers okay there's another column in the table for employee ssm that's going to be these two numbers and in theory these these two numbers and these two numbers are supposed to be the same but for some reason, they seem in paychecks, they come out like off by one penny sometimes. And that may cause you some headache later on when you're entering this into QuickBooks because I don't even know if this penny is going to be added to the total, this total over here. Okay, now go ahead and finish filling it out. Okay, now I'm going to show how to enter the Paychecks Taxes transaction into QuickBooks. Okay, here's QuickBooks. I'm going to open the one that has my company, not the personal, and the 2014 year. In the, fa in the years after this, they're all going to be 2014. You only need one company file um, for all the years. You don't have Paychecks draws their money out of my business checking. I'm going to look for another entry. Okay, here it is, payroll taxes. So all I have to do is come down here. Okay, the date is close enough. Payroll taxes, it's in there already. Okay, it brings up information from the previous one, but I need to correct this information. So the payment is not 9 six. Okay, and then hit tab. Okay, now this, see where it says split here? You can't just ignore that part. Okay, you got to deal with it. This is which accounts it draws from. So we're going to double click here to expand this whole transaction so we can enter the true details. Okay, now here it is. See the total that we entered in the other screen? It showed up here. The date is here. It says payroll taxes, just like we had on the other sheet. But here's the difference. Where it said split, that's the information that belongs in the split. Okay, now this stuff needs to be corrected. Okay, because this is just the old stuff from the previous payroll. Okay, so here we have, this one is the, I misspoke, that's the employer SSM, not the employee SSM. Okay, so that's going to be, for this payroll, it's 376 
0.61. I'm just copying it off that table that I just filled out. Okay, now over here, this is the SSM that was withheld from the employees. The one up here was the one that I paid, the employer. Okay, so that one is going to be... And remember I told you earlier, okay, that these really, in theory, should be the same number, but for some reason, Paychex has them off by a few pennies. By the way, I just noticed, you know, right in the memo column, instead of trying to figure out what this stuff in, over here is, in the memo column, I'm telling you, this is the employer SSM, this is the employee SSM, and this is going to be the state taxes withheld, okay? So let's do the state taxes. I'm not going to show me entering the rest of them. It's straightforward, and the video is too long. Now, here's the moment of truth. I'm going to click right here, and if if the total of these numbers is the same as up here, we're going to be okay, and it's going to show zeros or nothing. But if it doesn't, that means there's a problem. Okay, it did. I guess those pennies up here didn't cause a problem. Otherwise, we would have to play with these numbers a little bit. All right, so now you just click Save. And you can close this window. And notice all the information that we just entered is hidden behind this transaction. If I was to open it again, it would show the stuff that we just saved. Okay, so now we're done entering the taxes. There's the paychecks processing fee and the employee net pay. Actually, those are pretty easy to enter. I'll just do them right now. Employee net pay. All right, just tab over. The employee net pay. Okay. That amount will be what's this number right up here, okay? So it's three, seven, pay, and we don't need to do anything here because, you know, it's just one entry. It's not a split. So I just hit record. Okay, the next one we need to enter is the paychecks processing fee. Okay. Paychecks processing fee. All right, here it filled it out from the previous week's data, but we need to know what it really is. Okay, it's not going to be in the folder. It's going to be this invoice right here, which was also downloaded when I downloaded this folder. Okay. All right, I see it's gone up. Okay, now it's 80 all right, again, this is not a split entry. Okay, so now I just hit record. Okay, now I close this checkbook. And while I'm still in QuickBooks, here, click here just to make sure I'm still in QuickBooks, I'm going to do a file backup. Okay, that actually backs up this QuickBooks file. Go to QuickBooks Backup to make sure that the backup file, the backup disk image, DMG, that's what that is, ended up in my QuickBooks backup in Dropbox. Okay, and this check mark right here showed that it got backed up all the way to Dropbox, even though the file first goes into my hard drive here. But since this whole folder is actually part of Dropbox. It's also going to be synchronized with Dropbox. Okay, the date and time, 11:27. Okay, yes, that's the entry. That's the backup we just made. Okay, so I guess we're done. Close the finder, go to QuickBooks and quit QuickBooks. Okay, one last thing to do here. All right, we need to put away the stuff we downloaded from Paychex. Okay, so we go to, yeah, paychecks right there. Payroll, all kinds of reports. Payroll reports. Okay, I'm going to create a new folder. It's going to be 09 May 14th. Then we open it and deselect these. Now select both of those and drag them in here. Okay, the, as you can see, they're being synchronized with Dropbox and it's done synchronizing. Okay, now we back out to see everything's okay. Payroll reports, all kinds of reports, paychecks. Okay.